I'm told this is just a case of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. I met the tracks roughly about a mile east of where 24 to 26 elk were killed. Washington Department Fish and Wildlife say that nothing like this has ever happened before. It happened Thursday morning just after 8 a.m. when a freight train on the BNSF tracks on its regular route hit and killed a herd of elk. WDFW says it's not unusual for elk to be in the area or near the tracks, but it is unusual for such a high number of elk to be along or on the track. There's a lot of farmland and flat areas um, in this particular area, but where this particular incident occurred, it's very steep um, and it's possible they were using the train track as a travel corridor. Here is a map. It's between Highway 14 and the Columbia River, about a mile and a half east of Cape Horn Lookout. We're told it's a very remote, non-trespassing area that's only accessible by foot. WDFW spoke with BNSF and they were able to get in to assess the area, calling the scene disturbing. BNSF told us that the animals that were there were not salvageable. Michael and his family say they saw a herd of elk in their backyard just a couple of days ago. They're very gentle, very quiet. They just kind of mosey on through and they don't cause any trouble. And, uh, you know, you'll watch them and, and it'll look like there's about 10 or 20 of them. Um, and then five more will come out from the trees. They're, they're fun to watch. They're great for our kids to watch too. Really good to, um, for, our, uh, for teaching our kids about animals and wildlife and how they interact. They can just watch the herd of elk right from our deck. And but they were saddened to hear what happened. My wife was very uh, shocked and devastated and she started crying right away. I see another one right there. Especially for his kids. So they heard you know, what happened and so they're like, well, are the elk going to come back? And it's really hard not being able to tell them if they're going to come back or not. We are told that this is not a normal occurrence, and the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife say that they don't foresee this happening again in the near future. Unfortunately, those animals are still in the area and they will remain there. However, the animals were removed from the track itself, and trains are back on their normal routes.